Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Johnny Fraze. I'm back with something super special to show you guys. This is the Project Magenta joystick from my friends at Paradise Arcade Shop. Now, what makes this really unique, um, it's basically a contactless joystick. Uh, obviously, it translates everything to digital inputs. As you can see on the bottom right of my screen, you can see the software portion of this running. So the little blue and red quadrants that you guys see represent basically the diagonals and the directions that you'd normally do when you move around your joystick. So let me show you by moving re around, it follows you around. Now each of those little portions can actually be customized based on the software that you guys see right here. First things first guys, let me break down how a standard joystick works so you can actually see the differences between uh, the magenta and a standard joystick. So this is the um, micro switch board that's inside a Sanwa JLF. Basically if you hold the direction down, you know, you're going to hit one of these switches and when you when the switch actuates, you move. Um, if you do on the corner, it hits two of the switches and then you might jump forward or down forward, whatever it is that you hit. These little sensors on the magenta read the magnet that sits on the bottom of the shaft. That's also how you can get these precise adjustments that you can make with the software. Looking at the software guys, it's broken down to a couple sections. The profile section on the left right over here basically allows you to recall or store any of the profiles that you create going down the line. The active directions here, I'm not sure you're going to get too much use out of it, but if you really wanted to, just say you're playing an old school game and you only have uh, up, down, left, right, uh, you can just simply make it that. If you wanted to just do diagonals for any reason, you could do that. Uh, most of the time you're going to be in here where you're going to enable both. Um, stick rotation just simply means however you install the magenta, you can just pick the right rotation in order to get up, down, left, right to input properly in the joystick. Uh, you can also do a little bit of fine rotation. If it's a little off, you can kind of you know switch it by a degree or two. Um, the output map is really interesting. It basically means that you can wire this thing up any way you want, and there's like 23 options right that um, is going to guarantee that you wired it up right. So it's pretty pretty interesting. I don't know why they came up with that feature, but hey, why not? It, that just means plug it in, it's going to work somehow. All right. Um, now to the fun part, which we all probably want to see is the control section over here so if I move this up and down that's going to be the common right and that's going to be um, dictating how much of a press I need to kind of hit the joystick in order for me to actuate like in this case left right so it's kind of midway right there if I make it a little bit smaller it's going to actuate right away if I make it huge and I have to really go all the way go to the corner to kind of hit that um, and that goes the same with the diagonals. You can make it wider, you know, so this is almost all diagonals, right? And I can do the opposite and it's almost all cardinals, right? Um, now, I can also make it so that the diagonals in this case are a little bit bigger than the cardinals, right? So these have more priority. And I can do the opposite, right? And do that, right? And if I take off simple controls, this is where it gets really crazy and you can literally adjust to your heart's content which parameter or which direction has priority, which one gets uh, activated faster, you name it. So this is where it gets really fun. Let me show you a couple things that I've done with uh, a few of my profiles. Profile 1 basically just mimics the stock Sanwa JLF micro switch board. So typical feel if you're already used to using a JLF. Now. Profile 2, I actually have this kind of set up for Ryu or Shoto specifically. Now you see the differences. Um, the white area in the middle is a little bit smaller, which means my inputs are going to activate much faster. And I also made the diagonals a little bit shorter, so if I'm doing something like a dragon punch, right, I don't actually have to do that full travel to get to forward, down, and forward again. It'll just quickly pass over the diagonal and input much faster. So. In turn, I would actually get DPs by just doing a very slight motion. Alright, so Profile 3 I set up for charge characters like Guile. If you look at the software, you'll notice what I did. So basically, I made anything that's back or down back on both directions almost immediately uh, activated the minute that I move the joystick. So you'll see if I go in the game, if I press back, it's going to go right to the blue area. If I press down back, it's going to go right to the red area. So Hopefully, or actually no, not hopefully, I know that I'm going to get the maximum amount of time to charge Sonic Booms. So that's a good example we could do with the Magenta with a charge character like Guile. So I set up Profile 4 for characters like Geef with an SPD. 
right? So if you look at it, looking at profile one, that's a standard JLF like we talked about. Profile four is a total opposite. I just made the diagonals really big, right? So that allows me to kind of get all the corners a little bit quicker um, doing the SPD. Now, I don't know if you guys know, you can kind of cheat with uh, Zangief and do the, the SPD as a tiger knee. So with this profile, I can actually do that a lot more accurate than uh, if I did it on a standard setup. So here we go. So I'm already getting, but just like doing a J, I can do the air one, I can do the regular one, much, much easier with this profile. All right, guys, I already know what some of you guys are thinking. Probably thinking, oh man, this is not gonna be tournament legal. It's cheating, you have an advantage. Well, let's think about it from a couple angles. The first angle is that if you look at some of the controllers that are already tournament legal in the market, like uh, especially the all button controllers like the hitbox, right? Um, you can actuate or press the buttons for directions almost immediately. Um, there's no travel time like you do have on arcade stick where you have to move like left or right. No travel time at all. So in that sense, you know, some of those all button controllers actually have more an advantage than the Magenta has, even if at the best settings, probably still has an advantage. So with that said, you know, that's that's one point that you can look at. Uh, the second point is that the team at Paradise Arcade Shop um, really thought about this and what they decided to do was that once they flashed the hardware, once they flashed the software onto the actual board, um, they actually locked it. So it can't be tampered with after the initial flash. It's a firmware lock, right? So there's no funny business that can happen you know, after the fact once it's flashed. The third thing is that some of the biggest tournament organizers have already seen this with the relationship that the uh, Paradise Arcade uh, team um, has with some of these guys and they already looked at the early prototypes and already deemed it tournament worthy. Now I was also skeptical about how this thing's going to feel with no switches but guess what you can actually just put in the JLF switches in there and sandwich it right in between the magenta to still have that authentic feel. Now one really cool aspect is that if you don't plan on using it for tournament play you could still use the magenta as a coaching or training tool to visually see your execution. For instance, you could start with an adjusted profile and then slowly dial it back to the standard setup. And since you can install the standard switches, you could swap between them and the magenta and compare your execution that way. Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been the sneak peek of Paradise Arcade Shop's Magenta Joystick. It's now available for pre-order on www.paradisearcadeshop.com. Once again, this is Johnny Fraze. Catch you guys soon on the next one. Peace.